I made this mini painting with a tea bag. To improve at art, we have to practice every single day. And for traditional artists like me, that means practicing painting every single day. But watercolor papers can be quite expensive and nobody wants to break the bank for practice, am I right? I have a great solution for you and for me, it's using tea bags. Yes, tea bags. They can make an excellent canvas. Let's try to prepare it together. I always start my morning with a cup of milk tea. Here's how I make it. I put two bags of tea in a saucepan. Carefully open the bags and keep them somewhere clean. Going back to the milk tea, now I add a spoon of sugar for hot milk tea or two spoons of sugar for cold milk tea. Next, I add three spoons of water and bring it to a boil. After that, I add a glass of milk and bring it to boil again. Once it's done, I strain it to my mug or cup. Sometimes I drink it while it's warm or wait for it to cool down and then add ice. Now that our milk tea is served, let's start painting. I usually put my sketch on an easel to maintain a good posture. It's because I had a neck injury one and a half years ago, so I cannot look down for too long. I used the leftover colors on my palette to create the underpainting. Then I outlined the sketch with gouache to make it clearer. You know what, over the years of painting, I've noticed that the cost of art supplies really adds up. Plus, there is the troubling issue of deforestation. More and more trees are being cut down than are being replanted. That's why looking for a more sustainable way of painting is definitely the way to go. Not only can we enjoy painting, but we can also save money and help save the earth at the same time. The traditional art industry harms the environment in many ways. From the production of paints and canvases to the packaging and transportation of art supplies, the environmental footprint can be significant. But there are plenty of eco-friendly alternatives and sustainable practices that we can adopt to minimize our impact on the planet. One of the simplest way to reduce our environmental impact is by using recycled or eco-friendly art supplies. Consider reusing and repurposing old materials whenever possible to minimize waste. For example, I've been using clothes or cannibal for my wet brushes instead of kitchen paper because I can always reuse them. By reducing our waste and making conscious choices about the materials we use, we can significantly reduce our environmental footprint as artists. But sustainable painting isn't just about the materials we use. It's also about the way we approach our art practice as a whole. Consider painting outdoors to minimize the use of artificial lighting and ventilation and embrace natural light and fresh air whenever possible. A few months back, I moved to a place with a huge window. So I've been painting, filming, and taking pictures of my art during the day. That way, I don't have to turn the lights on. Of course, everyone's situation is different. If turning the light is a must for you, then it's okay. You can find other ways to be sustainable. In the end, it's about making small changes in our everyday lives that add up to make a big difference. By adopting more sustainable painting practices, we can not only reduce our environmental impact but also inspire others to do the same. Together, we can create a more eco-friendly and sustainable art community for generations to come. And there you have it, my friend. The reason of why I made this mini painting on a tea bag.